I think I just want to say a very good morning to my senior brother, um, Kofi Bento. Okay. Uh, bro, I salute. Uh, yeah. very, a very <laughs> good morning to you. Bro, you know, say with the love your matter. Um, uh, in fact, you need to confirm for us if that Facebook account is yours. Because we are beginning to... No, it's not only the Facebook account, though. Uh, Chronicle has gone to carry the story as well. Uh, uh, but Omiya is far better than John Muhammad. Says Imani's Kofi Benzo. Yeah, Chronicle is confirming the story here. Yeah, I'm sure they have done their checks. Bro, where, where, <laughs> where, where, where did they go there? Yeah, yeah, wondering where he's getting uh, it from, man. Uh, oh, bro. You've worked so hard <laughs> for this country. You know, Kofi is one of the people who really inspired some of us to get into the CSO space, mm. you know. He's, he's, he's really done well, I mean, with the money, I mean, for policy, advocacy, yeah. you know, research and governance issues. And so a lot of us respect him a lot. Mm. It's, it's pretty unfortunate that um, he's choosing to end a very nice service to this country on, on that note, because a lot of people are really, really getting disappointed with him. Um, especially with his, I think a few days ago, yeah. he wrote something that um, Dr. Baumia, which will give Dr. Baumia a chance because yes. he's never been president before. Yes, yes, yes. And Kofi, you, you understand this governance system. Dr. Baumia has been number two. He's been chair of the economic management team. Mm, mm. He has, um, how do you call it? He, he has sat through cabinet for seven good years. Mm. Okay. If... Dr. Baumia has any knowledge, has any understanding, has any magical one to pull. Mm. The best thing for him was to have used those, that to support his boss mm. to govern this country well. Yeah. To say we cannot blame Dr. Baumia yeah. for the mess that has happened in the last seven years mm. because he was number two. Mm. For me, Kofi, I think it's, it's it, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous, Kofi. You can't make that assertion. I mean, I, I think you, you 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 need to credit Ghanaians with some some little understanding of government, with some intelligence. At least we are not idiots, you know. But I, but, Mister, you do realize that first of all, um, the person in the number one seat decides ultimately everything based on suggestions and advice but still it's his decision and the he, one in the one number one the seat in and the, the one number one two seat. seat can suggest all he wants but the person in the number two seat mm. chairs the economic management team okay that formulates economic policy for this country mm. that steers the economy the person in the number one seat had told us that he has given the person number two, mm. all the powers, yeah. because he's an economic risk. Yeah. He's an economic messiah. Yeah. He understands the economy. Yeah. And he can steer the economy yeah. to, to the right direction. Mm. Mm. So Ghanaians have been told the last seven years that the person in the number two seat is the one steering this economy. Mm. And look at where we are. And so if there is anything, the person number two should be apologizing to us and be telling us okay. the reason why we are where we are and not be telling us that we failed or we are where we are because he, he was number two. That is ridiculous. That is, I mean, I, and, I, and, and I'm saying that if indeed Dr. Baumia knows something, if he indeed he's as good as the likes of Kofi Bentil and Co are claiming he is, mm. and that he can manage this economy and that he can run this country better than Nanado, and he has sat down for Nanado, for his boss, to run this country through this misery, through this agony, through this mess for the last seven years, then Dr. Baumia is the most wicked and insensitive pres vice president ever. No, but you do realize that you have a limit yeah, as but a vice a, president. But, but we need principled people to run this country. Okay, so he should have walked away maybe no, he should have. as a statement to There's say that time. I don't like the way you're running even things. E -Levy, even yes. E. Levy, yes. when Dr. Baumia had told us yes. that taxing mobile money was for poor people, mm. and his government introduced E. Levy, did you mm. hear Dr. Baumia speak? That he, that he disagreed with the position of the government? Did you hear him? No. We need principled people okay. to run this country. Sp